All right, I'm going to show you now how to uh, work with the uh, Helicon Focus. If you don't already know, it's a very popular, common composite uh, program. Many people have it, but uh, this is the latest version of Helicon. I'll fire it up, and it is version 7.0.2. It's the pro version, unlimited use, and it's uh, it's registered to Gavin. So um, if you go into your to your setup files and you look up under Helicon, uh, the document with the email and the registration code and everything is there in case you need to install it on another machine. For now, we're going to stack the images we just shot <clears throat> in Capture One. So I go into my, the easiest way to do it is to go into my uh, Sessions folder, go to my Output folder. Here we are, our Beatles. I can just highlight all these things and drag them over right into uh, right into Helicon. I'm using method C. It's, uh, it seems to be the best method uh, for this thing. Now this is, uh, there are 13, um, 143 meg files. So we'll hit render. Okay, it's done in about five seconds. So if I right click, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Higher mag. Open this up. If I uh, do a normal left click on my mouse, I can then cruise around and check to make sure that everything is put together correctly. And yeah, got good resolution. Everything's uh, everything's there. So now I'm going to save this image out. So I'm going to say File, and I'm going to hit Save. And I'm going to grab any one of my thumb, uh, any one of my previous images because it has the name on it with the lens and the mag. And remember, it's got that three-digit um, tail uh, end of it. So I'm going to go and just delete that and write in the word comp. And I'll underscore and I'll put an H in there for Helicon. I hit save. And we are done. I close it out. That's it for Helicon. The next thing we'll do is Zerine. All right, now that we've had fun with uh, stacking with Helicon Focus, we're going to try Zerine. It's similar in the fact that you can either fire it from the keyboard or from the taskbar. I'll fire it from the keyboard. Now, Zerine. Like Helicon, you can either drag and drop or you can go File, Add Files, and navigate to the folder you're looking for. I have our folder over here. This is out of our uh, Capture One session, our output folder. Now, I have um, also, too, the comp from Helicon in this folder. We just did it. So I don't want to include that in my Zerine stack. So I'm going to go here, the last image, then hold my Shift key and select my first image and then drag them into Zerine. It's simple with Zerine. You simply choose Stack, Align All, Stack, Pmax. Now, Zerine does a better job than Helicon on a few things. If you have white CD overlaid white CD, you, you would get a gap with Helicon more so. Not so much with Zerine. Zerine also does not add contrast. Helicon adds contrast to the final image so that you, it's, it's, your brain thinks because there's more contrast that it's sharper. And it's really not. Uh, Zerine is absolutely high fidelity in the fact that it gives you the original image without any color alterations, which is why I like it for so many things. It is not nearly as fast as Helicon, and that's why for my everyday work, Helicon is just wonderful. It's my go-to because it's so damn fast. We're done here, um, and that's it. And I can open this up. Um, let's see, I'll give this 50% and we can drag it around and see its, its detail. There you go. It's beautiful. I mean, uh, Zerine is is super fine. If you want the very, very best, I'd run with Zerine. I'm just being picky. 
Also, uh, when you end up with very, very deep stacks, Zerene does a much better job. But again, for speed, you can't beat Helicon. Down and dirty, you got a dozen or two images and you're putting something together for online. It's, it's a no-brainer. Helicon, man, just bang it. Well, I'm going to close this out. Actually, I'm going to save it. So I get a file. Uh, save output image. Oops, save output image. Thank you. You'll get this little notice up here, uh, whether or not you want to save it 8-bit or 16. If you don't want to see this, you just unclick this box. But I like to see it. It's a good reminder. Same image. I'm going to grab the one that said Helicon and just change it to Z. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open both of these up in Photoshop. And I'm going to walk you through all of the function keys. And uh, yeah, we're done. Hit OK. All the function keys and the uh, special layers and, and actions that we've got in there. Well, that's it for, for Zareen. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll get back into Photoshop uh, in a little while.